I wanted to let you guys know about an exciting event going around, which I will pass along. Starting next Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be in the forest for four days. We're going to head out on Thursday, Thursday morning. We're going to organize carpools Thursday morning and Saturday morning. Thursday, we're going to do a ground truthing training. That's basically going out to these units, walking around and playing private detective, finding what are those things you want to look for in a landscape. See if the, what the Forest Service says they're going to do to the landscape meshes with reality, right? Um, the second day on Friday, we have uh, a special guest coming to town, John Vallejo, who's a lichenologist, and he's going to come do survey and manage fungus and lichen. So hopefully these rains will produce things for, for that uh, journey. Um, and we'll see a lot of rare lichens and mushrooms that a lot of folks don't get to see. Then on Saturday, we're going to do what we're calling BMP training. So this is basically after they log, after they log our forests, after private companies log our forests, there's usually a set of criteria that they're supposed to follow. Like for example, you won't put a road on a slope greater than 30%. We've been doing a lot of work this year to go out and monitor logging projects after they've been completed to see if they comply with these regulations, these so-called BMPs. Um, and we got some some fancy tools that folks can use too, like things you can stick in the ground and press buttons and they Ooh. tell you stuff. So we'll be doing some of that too. So if you're like scientific minded, the BMP is really great for geeking out on fancy gadgety stuff. Um, so we have the BMP training on that day on Saturday. And then Sunday is kind of just wrap up and get it done day. We're going to go out and just finish up whatever projects we got in the Clackamas area so that we can ground truth every unit of the Grove Timber Sale, of which there's a hundred and I think it's 150, 160 units. We're about two thirds of the way there. So we'll use that project to finish that up. We've also got another timber cell where they wanna um, cut down all these uh, dead trees that were killed by beetles. Um, and then do a lot of the post logging monitoring as well. Um, so there's gonna be a number of people out there. And um, if you're interested in getting involved with BARC, this is a really, really great place to go and starting to learn these ground truthing tools. Um, I'm the, the forest, coordinator, forest Watch Coordinator at Bark, so I coordinate a lot of those activities. So talk to me if you're interested in either coming out to the camp out or just getting involved with the work that we do in the forest. Um, and as Mark was suggesting or saying earlier, it is that kind of relationship building that we have. And I'm happy to tell you, like, we need someone to go check out Jazz Unit 120. It's great for mushrooms. Because um, it, it's really that way. And I want to make this... this um, our ground truthing efforts something that's conducive to your needs and to Bark's needs, and so it's like a real win-win. If you're interested in plants, you come out, you see plants, you can give me the photographs, I'll try and tell you what it is. Um, and whatever it is that you're interested in, we'll, we'll sculpt the ground truthing efforts to, to, to help you fulfill those needs um, so that you can learn about ecology and, and learn a sense of place. It's super important. See what plants come up here in the spring, what fungus come out in the fall, see what animals, tracks you see here in the winter time. It's really amazing to go to one place and get that full story, to really get to know a piece of the earth that way. Most people don't have that kind of relationship anymore. It's super important. Mm -hmm.